Checking on this DD15. Checking out the cylinder head to see what the problem was. Uh, if you see this valve, you can see how much meat is missing. I lapped these valves a little bit just so I could clean up the seats and the valves themselves to see what kind of condition they were in. But if you look at the valve, it's completely thin. This one right here, being the exhaust valve, still has plenty of meat on it and the valve See, it looks pretty good after lapping it somewhat. These are perfectly reusable, but the intake, however, are so very thin, it's gonna require new seats and new valves. So this uh, head is gonna have to go to the machine shop, uh, unfortunately. It's gonna get a valve job and probably new guides and new valves. These guides seem to have quite a bit of play. I guess they'll check them out at the machine shop and do what's needed. Looks like the valve uh, has a ton of debris on it. But yeah, most definitely on this uh, DD15, the valves were completely tight, not allowing the spring to completely shut the valve and the compression gases or the compression itself uh the combustion uh was getting past the valve on the seat and that's why these valves are so thin these exhaust valves don't look bad too bad with a lab they're probably still reusable but these at the bottom are just done they're so thin This is cylinder number two. I had marked this valve when I did a pressure, uh, when I did a test. All I did, all I did is I filled up the port for the exhaust and the intake. I, I had this head like so, and then I flipped it so that I could fill up the other ports. And I filled them up with water and soap and with an air hose and an air nozzle. I pushed the soap and the ones that leaked that you know made bubbles we marked for example this one gave us an issue so so with a water bottle and a little bit of soap I went ahead and made myself a squirt bottle to pour some water and soap down this hole and then and then we went ahead and with an air hose I was not wanting to do it now, but whenever we checked that it was bubbling up, and uh, this one here seems to be marked as well, it's kind of sit down with bubble up. Got them wet. I guess the, the water made a seal with rust or whatever. But anyways, we did just that and it started bubbling up around the ones that were leaking. And that's how I knew that the seats and, and the valve weren't making a, a good seal, a good enough seal. Um, a lot of these valves have real heavy deposits from combustion or from EGR, who knows. Uh, It, it's ideal to do an overhead on these engines often from what I'm saying um, These valves will literally Be shoot away if you don't To the point that you that you get a misfire because you no longer have compression All right Working on this DD15, the customer decided to get a used head. It's low mileage. The valves look very good on this head. All I'm doing is a quick lapping. This sits. 
Let me get some better light for you guys. These seats have varnish on them. And I've been polishing them up to get rid of all that, uh, you know, all the deposits, all the rust, make them look and seat like new again. Making the valves and the seats look new. I've been polishing each one. I got some lapping compound left on there, but it leaves the seat nice and shiny so that we have a good seal. I'm gonna go ahead and finish all 24 of them. I've done all the intake side and I've done four exhaust. I'm gonna continue lapping these valves and then I'll clean this head and prep it to install it. It should run good again. All right. So this is how I'm lapping these valves. I'm using my impact. This is just a piece of hose. This is a Torx bit that happens to fit real snug inside this hose. Um, I'm using good old valve grinding compound. And I put it on there like so. I'm gonna try to set this phone here somehow. See if I can get you guys to see what I'm doing. So what I'll do is I'll push the valve out. Apply some compound while I spin the valve. And then I'll pull the valve and with my fingers I'll apply very slight pressure. I'll give it a little push every so often. And you can hear the lapping compound do its work. At first it will make a real raspy sound and the raspiness will go away as you grind the valve, as you seat the valve. What I'll do then is grab a rag and grab the valve and just spin the thing to clean it. I clean the seat the best I can. It doesn't need to be perfect. And then I'll apply some more compound. Do that process. We're going to continue to seat these valves. I'm going to go ahead and clean this valve. Clean the seat a little bit. Apply some more compound. And continue to lap this. Every time you open and close the valve, you get new lapping compound. That's why I keep opening and closing it. to see how it looks, looks pretty clean, we'll look at the seat, on average you gotta do it three or four times, sometimes more.
looks good. We'll move on to the next one. And then I'll clean this head and prep it to install it. That is Master Mechanic Felipe. He's cleaning and prepping this DD15 head so it can be installed. He already has left the valves on it, so he's just getting it all cleaned up so he can put it on. He's doing a good job with it too. Looks pristine after cleaning with some diesel. Here we are putting the valve springs back onto the head with a homemade ugly looking tool that we came up with. It's ugly but it gets the job done. We got a few more to go and then we'll be installing this head it's probably not gonna be today but all right so this is the tool in action we're gonna try to set you up somewhere so you can kind of kind of get a glimpse of what we're doing with this homemade monstrosity <laughs> uh, all right, so here's how the tool works. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to put the keepers back onto this valve. I'm sorry about the glare. I got a little bit of oil on the on the phone and I tried to clean it, but it didn't work too well. Um, so let's go ahead and try to compress it. Once it's compressed somewhat, I tighten this bolt and it allows me to put the keepers back onto the valve these keepers are kind of a pain to put back on I grabbed a nut and I cut it in half to use it to be able to put the keepers in so I got one on press it some more Go ahead and release it slowly. Release it. Release it. That's it. It's released. It's installed. That's basically how this ugly tool works. That's how we've installed every single one of them. We got one and two left. The only reason I haven't put this one on is because it fell out and some lapping compound got on the 
valve so I'm wanting to clean that guide and that seal before I do anything else with it that's the only reason we haven't done that one other than that this is the last one that we're installing and that is the handy dandy ugly tool that I built and it works good it works good all right